Hi everyone, I'm happy to be with you here today because I'm bringing to you live the amazing, incredible uh, quantum savant and founder of Lila Quantum, Philip von Holzendorf-Felling. And we're going to be talking all about quantum energy and some of the incredible Lila Quantum products that they've been coming out with. They're so prolific. There's the quantum block, there's the Heo capsule, there's the infinity block. And just recently they started a subscription service so people can actually subscribe to be um, basically immersed in a bubble of quantum energy. And you can get this subscription for yourself for your home, for your business, for your car, for your phone, for your pets. Uh, so I've been subscribed for about a month and personally I love it. But because quantum energy is so nebulous and outside, by definition, outside of the realm of Newtonian laws, it can be somewhat difficult to communicate exactly how these things function. And so that's why we're bringing Philip on today to talk a little bit about how this even works um, because the company has been absolutely rigorous with not only their quality standards, but also with being able to actually um, quantify the effects that their products have. And so uh, we're going to get him to talk a little bit about some of those uh, studies that they've been doing. They've partnered with doctors, universities, and researchers to even do double-blind placebo-controlled trials, which of course is the gold standard of trials in the world, um, to really demonstrate the effect that, that these quantum energy tools have on your biology and also on your drinking water as well. So we're just going to wait for Philip to come on. We'll give him a couple seconds. He's been doing back-to-back -back interviews today. So if anybody has any questions about quantum energy or quantum products, go ahead and put your questions in the chat and we'll be sure to ask him when he comes on. Just waiting for Philip. But while we're waiting, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the Hawkins scale, because I think this is a good place to begin. So basically, I think his name is Dr. David Hawkins, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> he devised a scale to sort of measure the range of frequencies of quantum energy. And I think it started at zero and went up to a thousand. And so zero would be, you know, for example, shame and guilt and just the worst, like basically no um, energetic resonance whatsoever. Whereas a thousand would be basically the frequency of enlightenment. And can you guess what these uh, quantum devices are tuned to? They're tuned to about 2,000. So uh, the big glow says Dr. David Hawkins, yes. Oh, we've got Philip on, so I'm going to bring him on. And welcome everyone who's joined, Jeffrey, Zach, Emily. Hi, Philip, welcome. Oh, you're kind of frozen. Not sure if that's my connection or yours. Are you there? Yes, I'm here and I can hear. There we go. Mm, I think we're frozen. Oh, let again. me double check. Let me double check. Okay. Hi, Timothy and Fun Girl and True Blue and Homestead. Hi, Longevity Larry and George. Okay, I seem to have a better connection now. How are you yes. doing today, Philip? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> I've been talking nonstop, <laughs> so <laughs> I can keep on going. You've had back-to-back -back interviews today, huh? Yeah, pretty much, yes. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much just going to ask you to repeat the same stuff you've probably been saying all day long. <laughs> I'm sure you, you've mastered it by now, so um, give us the speech. I was actually just sharing with everybody before you came on a little bit about the Hawkins scale and how Dr. David Hawkins found a way to kind of calibrate the um, quantum spectrum. Can you explain a little bit about that for people? Yes, it's actually uh, one of the books I would actually recommend people to read uh, or check, in, uh, check out the audio book. So he set up this Hawkins scale from zero to 1000. And he actually did many, 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 many years of research and 
Uh, it's, it's a real scientific study actually with ten, tens and probably hundreds of thousands of calibrations where he was able to um, really calibrate the levels on this scale, on the consciousness scale for locations or for people uh, and so on. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of amazing findings in that. So it basically describes the level of energy or consciousness. Got a little frozen again. You're frozen, so I don't know if you if you still hear okay. me. Oh, uh, okay, you're back now. Was I frozen or you were frozen a little bit? Yeah, okay. the last thing that I heard was uh, it something about consciousness that it's a scale of consciousness. Yes, exactly. And, you know, with uh, states of enlightenment at the very top and then the low levels of consciousness like anger and uh, jealousy and things like that, that are, would be on the very low end. And yeah, so that's a natural progression because we as uh, human beings, we're, we're energy beings in a physical body, right? And in the end of the day, it's about unlocking our own consciousness. The consciousness is always there. It's, it's, it's never gone. It's always there. It's just what's so limited is our own access to it. So we, we can unlock it more and more. And there are different methods on how to do that. And then you can calibrate that. Like you can literally calibrate your own level on the Hawkins scale. Um, so that's kind of f fun to do if, if someone is interested in that. But yeah, so high consciousness fields have an impact on our consciousness and can help lift us up there a little bit more, but they also have physical implications. So yeah, that in a nutshell, you know, he kind of perfected that field and did a lot of great, great work. Yeah, I'm really curious what kind of studies he was doing to be able to pinpoint so specifically exactly what those frequencies were. So he used kinesiology uh, for mm -hmm. all, all the testing uh, but it's, it's, it's actually very profound. Like some people think like mm -hmm. kinesiology, yeah, you know, but I mean, if someone does it, that is not experienced. Yeah. Then it's indeed kind of shaky. <laughs> no, there's <laughs> definitely a science to, to kinesiology. There's an art to it too, but there's definitely a science to it. So yeah, the quantum products, the Leela quantum products, where are they calibrated on the Hawkins scale? So we have different levels. So the, the, weakest block that we have is the the quantum block that's at i think right, right around 600 561 i think and it's also for a reason because you can put even pharmaceutical products in there and and neutralize the negative frequencies if you used a higher consciousness field then suddenly you add like homeopathic doses to the actual substance which we wouldn't recommend if it's like heart medication or something like that. So it's important to have a, a block of, of that uh, level. And then the basic mm -hmm. infinity block is at 733. And uh, the infinity blocks, if, if someone has an infinity block package, you can upgrade these basically endlessly. Um, and and the, the limit is yourself only because, you know, it may be too much energy for some people, uh, like I'm freezing again. And then with the with the quantum but, energy uh, subscription, no, no, you can. Oh, did we freeze again? <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, with the quantum it looks energy, like we, we froze sub again. Subscription, um, you can kind of choose your own calibration, right? You have more flexibility, and then you yes. get a boost for thirty minutes a day. Yes, exactly. And so those levels are on the quantum upgrade from 500 to one to 900. Those are the regular levels. After four months, you get unlocked to get also access to 1000, which actually on the Hawkins scale is the, the upper end of the scale. Uh, however, our products can now actually break the Hawkins scale, if you will, because we have already created a device that can go up to 2,200 on the Hawkins scale. And that's also what we're using for the quantum upgrade. So we don't allow anyone to pick 2,200 though, because it's just too much. So, but at least there are boosters and you can set like 
daily boosters for like 30 minutes uh, and you can pick 1000 or 1100 and after mm -hmm. 90 days you will get unlocked to the 1200 level wow i can only imagine 2200 that's like double enlightenment when i first started the subscription um which was almost about a month ago now I noticed, so I set my, um, I got the home, the business and the personal one. And I set my personal one to be, uh, to have its 30 minute boost right when I wake up in the morning around 6.30 or seven. And then I set my business boost right when I start working, which is like nine or 10. And then I set the home boost to happen right around eight o'clock, which is when I'm kind of starting to wind down for the night. Oh, I think we lost Philip. He froze and got lost again. Well, he'll, he'll come back on in a sec. I'll just finish telling the story. So uh, the first night that I was using it, well, first of all, the first morning was easier to get up out of bed. And throughout the day, I was just kind of more focused and more in the flow and more in the zone while I was working. And I didn't want to draw any immediate, like, any immediate conclusions to say, you know, this ex exactly, you know, definitely because of the quantum energy. But I was just kind of noticing but then right around eight o'clock when the 30 minute booster hits uh, for the, the personal subscription, I, I was like, I'd had a really long day. I'd gotten so much done at work and normally I would just kind of want to chill with a book. And then right around eight o'clock, I totally forgot I had put the booster on for that time. And suddenly I just got this inspiration to start doing yoga. I don't normally do yoga that much. So for me to just suddenly feel like, Oh, you know what feels so great right now is just a really juicy yoga flow. Like that's just so not my norm, but that's what I suddenly felt inspired to do. And that's kind of what I've noticed even when I first got the quantum block and started working with these quantum products and several months ago, I noticed it's just this subtle refinement of it being easier to kind of step into your own, just feeling more natural to do the things that are better for you. Like I, instead of feeling like, oh, I should meditate this morning, you know, as part of my morning routine, I should meditate. It was like, oh, you know, I feel really good right now as a meditation. And it just kind of took some of the friction out of life. So it's very, very subtle, um, but it does just kind of make it easier to, this is gonna sound so cheesy and cliche to say, but kind of easier to be yourself in a way, just um, in a more fluid way. Somebody asked, oh, okay, the lip is back. Awesome. Um, also, somebody asked above, what's the name of these devices? You can find all these devices at waterislife.shop. Just search for quantum and you'll find them. Okay. Philip is coming back in. <laughs> welcome, Ben. Welcome. Oh, oh my True God. Blue. So sorry. I don't know what's going on. The internet has been stable here, but sometimes you never know. So. You just blame it on the eclipse. You can blame everything on the eclipse this exactly, week. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we're talking about quantum energy, and then we're also talking about the scale of consciousness. So would you say that quantum energy is kind of synonymous with consciousness in a way? It definitely goes hand in hand. So we can say each time we increase the concentration of the pure quantum energy field, there is an increase in the high consciousness field. So you could almost use the words probably interchangeably, yes. Okay, beautiful. What are some of the, um, the most common stories and experiences that people have when they first start using these? It, it varies a lot, really. There's the people that are very focused on the consciousness aspect and that are already very tuned in, or even healers themselves so they can see energies. So they have very different experiences because they can notice these things. They can suddenly see synchronicities happening because of intentions that they put in the blog, or if they work with other people, suddenly the work is way more profound or people are just getting way more access to the inner power and their dreams become more clear, or they notice that a, an emotional trauma that they couldn't release suddenly is released. That's kind of that end of the spectrum. And then we have the, the other end that's the more physical, right? Where people report, you know, I, I had five years of knee pain and I put my knee in the block and now it's gone and it didn't come back. Things like that. Um, 
which doesn't mean that if you have knee pain and you put your knee in the block, it's going to be gone. I, we can't say that. We all, honestly also don't know that because everyone is different. Uh, we, we can say that there, there are certain things that always happen, like your blood improves. So far in 100% of the cases that's been proven, even double blind studies. So we can say that definitively that is happening. But with knee pain, that's something, honestly, we don't know. We know that your system gets reactivated in terms of its self-healing powers and that the inner balance is established again. And, and all of that helps certainly to bring things in order like the blood and pain could be one of those things, but it hasn't been explored enough. And yeah, so that's what you find. You, you find even quantum entanglement um, stories where people take a picture and put it in a blog um, of, of, I don't know, a dog that was sick. And then suddenly the, the dog is doing fine again. We have countless stories like that um, we actually just just recently, I haven't even shared this yet on on, on Telegram, but uh, we've been just sent this a, a video of a tarantula, um, and that tarantula was injured, and that tarantula was walking towards the travel block, and then it literally went to the travel block, and and right next to the travel block, it laid down, and was just like soaking in the energy, and and mm. got better. Like, I mean, it's, that's just an interesting story because a tarantula certainly hasn't heard an IG live, you know, me talking about it. It's just <laughs> feeling the energy and it's going there mm -hmm. because there's something to benefit from. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like on a, on a subconscious level, the body water of every living organism knows the body, the body water is conscious, right? And it has this, um, this connection to the quantum field you know ultimately it's our bio water that makes us energetically resonant beings it's our super conductive bio water in its crystalline phase within us that allows us to channel these vibrations energies and frequencies and so that's what first got me interested in the work and of course that's you know with plants with animals with bugs i mean every life form is water-based right so it makes sense that everyone would resonate towards that and I think for me, it was definitely mostly like the, at first, because I'm already super healthy, it wasn't, you know, physical things that I noticed as much, but it was definitely the spiritual things like my insight, my intuition, my prayer life, my meditation started deepening. And it was very subtle, but it was definitely very consistent. And that was, you know, many months ago, just when I first started using the quantum block. And like you said, that one is 600 on the Hawkins scale. So then when I subscribe to the subscription and you start getting even more energy, it's amazing. So let's talk a little bit about what these can do for water specifically. I know you guys have a, um, an amazing story with uh, the Emoto Laboratory. Can you share a little bit about that and anything else related to what you can do for drinking water with these devices? Yes, and uh, you fill in the gaps, please, because you're way more of a water expert than I am. <laughs> but I, I know enough to be dangerous, at least <laughs> in regards to this topic. <laughs> and um, so the Emoto Institute, which uh, I'm sure everyone listening is familiar with in Japan, they tested our quantum blog and also the water bottle. And they use this method where they freeze the water and then can visualize the crystals that they can then see in the water. And they, they use a control water and then they know, okay, this is how the water look, looks like. Then the same water they put in the quantum block or respectively in the water bottle, and then they test the water after it's been charged. And the quantum block actually charging was just three minutes and they found that within three minutes, the quantum block was able to change the water to the positive, you know, more positive than any other method they had seen before. So they were extremely surprised. And they were also very, very positive about it and said, this is really amazing. And then they actually brought in, this is kind of like off the records here, but they brought in their, like their house healer. Like they literally have like this guy who's a seer. If they have important decisions to make or when it's about collaborating or, or, or devices that they can't grasp really, um, 
then they bring in this person and and the guy was blown away by it because he could feel the energy and he was like oh my god this is crazy like this is such an amazing beautiful energy and no wonder it's doing this for the water so they set up another call with us and now since eight months they've been importing our products to japan um which they've not done before with with any other products and and that shows me actually more than the study report they wrote, right? And that's great. And that's, you know, out of one beautiful crystal, the quantum block made five beautiful crystals for people that know this world, they, they'll understand what that means. For me, it means the most that they actually now put their name behind it and want to offer it to the Japanese people. Um, and they don't do things because of money, frankly. They're, they're a very integral... Uh, institute and and they they operate from the heart so they try to just yeah do good and they also try to keep i think the the legacy of Masaru Emoto uh, alive in a way with the work that they that they do yeah so that was uh, in mm -hmm. regards to the water that uh, that aspect and i don't know you know the dark field microscopy studies they're you know they they're showing a relatively similar picture, right? Because the blood is what flows in our veins, what we can see under a dark field microscope. And there we see similar things, right? Because blood that is clotted, for example, starts to unclot. Blood that is not oxygenated suddenly is oxygenated. White blood cells that were paralyzed, suddenly they're not paralyzed anymore. Parasitic load that you had in the blood suddenly is decreased within 10 minutes by 80%. Things like that um, just show that things get into balance. They're, they're wow, parasitic load decreased by 80% in a few minutes. I hadn't heard that part before. That's astounding. Yeah, so, and that, that one was found by the BESA Institute in Austria, and it wasn't, it wasn't looked at in all of the other test subjects. So I can't say that that specific um, parasitic load decrease happens to everyone now, but it's mm -hmm. extremely likely that the parasitic load decreases in everyone. We just don't know whether that's 5% or 80%. What we do know is stage one and stage two in blood clotting was able to be reversed in every test subject that had it. So, and mm -hmm. white blood cell activity also increased in every test subject. Those things were really measured across the board. And that's huge because just to kind of put this into perspective for anybody who's watching, blood coagulation is linked to pretty much every major disease. It's linked to inflammation. It's linked to acidity in the body. Like blood coagulation is kind of a, a starting point for things to really go out of balance in the body. And it happens so often, especially with our proximity to non-native electromagnetic fields and, and stuff like that. So having something that can so easily and immediately and effectively address that is really important. So can you talk a little bit about the device's ability to kind of neutralize these EMFs as well? Yes, so, so all of our products neutralize EMF and you know, some of our products, like the clothing products, they actually shield the EMF away. So they block 99.9% .9 or more than that actually uh, off the EMF and they're charged with quantum energy, so they transmit positive quantum energy at the same time. So, so that's the one aspect of the, the products that, that do that for people that are very sensitive. Or if you're in a plane or an electric car where there's a lot of EMX, EMF exposure, it's maybe good to have a t-shirt like that. The other products, like the blocks, for example, they don't block EMF, but they, they harmonize it. So what does that mean? So EMFs come to our energetic system in a way where it's a detrimental energy. Think of it like if someone were to hit me in the head, you know, it hurts, <laughs> probably. Um, and if I get a neck massage, it's also a touch and maybe the same person doing it, but it's, it has a completely different effect, right? And that's mm -hmm. pretty much what happens with the EMFs that when I'm surrounded by the energy of the quantum block, or if I wear the heel capsule, that seems to happen that there's nothing detrimental anymore that comes from these EMFs because they're, 
it's as if they're transformed and at the same time the the body is put into a frequency position where these emfs don't do any more what they would usually do and so it kind of now, softens and buffers them exactly yeah and and mm -hmm. I mean, literally everything that you can at least measure in terms of the blood or heart rate variability, or even if you look, um, take devices like the BioWell, it neutralizes all of it. Mm -hmm. like, there's not anything left from the EMFs that is detrimental that at least per these methods can be measured. And uh, that's obviously quite profound. But uh, yeah, and people may wonder, okay, well, now he's talking, okay, but th we have all these studies, like it's been mm -hmm. tested and tested and tested over and over again. And it, it just happens. It just happens every time. Mm -hmm. And it really makes sense when you understand the physiology of your bio water and the fact that the more structured and coherent your bio water is, the more physiologically hydrated you are the more you have a natural resilience to any kind of non-native EMF anyway. You have a natural resilience to all low vibrational frequencies because your body water just has a different level of resonance. So you just have this, this buffer zone actually physiologically within your body water. And so the fact that the quantum tools, the quantum block, the travel block, the infinity block, this subscription, the fact that they can all structure your bio water and uh, re literally raise the resonance to this, this quantum energy makes perfect sense in the context of hydration. I've been doing something recently with my water. Um, the more I look into protium hydrogen and its relationship to the quantum field, the more I'm just kind of blown away. So protium hydrogen actually has the capacity to open up little black holes within it consistently. And, and of course, you know, all, all water is H2O, right? Ideally, it's mostly protium hydrogen and not deuterium hydrogen. The difference being that protium is one proton and one neutron, or sorry, one proton and one electron. And the electron is always dancing around and flitting from one hydrogen to another and doing its own thing. And whenever it flits away from the proton, you're left with just a bare proton. And this is called ionic hydrogen. And the best model that we have for what a proton even is, is actually a black hole. It's like a tiny little subatomic 64 tetrahedron black hole that can pierce through directly to the heart of the universe. So within hydrogen is this immediate access to the quantum field. And that's how hydrogen bonding in structured water is able to conduct so much information as a superconductor faster than the speed of light, showing right then and there that it has access to the quantum field, right? the speed of light is the fastest possible in this dimension so when you're working with your bio water the more hydrogen that it has um the more hydrated you are and with your drinking water as well the more hydrogen it has the more hydrating it is so i've been putting my hydrogen water in the quantum block and there's just this different level of zing i don't know it's very very subtle it's very subtle but there's definitely a zing to it and i really love um Lately, so I moved here to Tulum in the Yucatan a few months ago, and there's no organic produce here. Sadly, there's, you know, the the soil is too sandy. There are not many farmers here. It's really hard to get organic produce. And I heard a story that you told that happened with our friend Todd Shipman, and it gave me the inspiration to start putting all of my washed but still not organic produce in the block before I eat it just to nullify any toxins or um, uh, things that might be in there. So can you tell that story for people? Because I think this really shows quite a lot. Yes, and, and I'll actually expand on that because I have some new information about that. So Todd Shipman, he's a biohacker and he's allergic to crab meat, to avocado and honey. So he was crazy enough to test what happens when he puts these substances in the infinity block and then eats them. And surprise, surprise, when he consumed the, these substances, he didn't have an allergic reaction, which he always, in 100% of the cases, has allergic reactions. By the way, I must say this, Todd told me at some point, tell the people you charged your AirPods. Otherwise, they're wondering why you're talking <laughs> about EMF and you're wearing these. You can charge <laughs> these in the blocks and then they have no negative effect. <laughs> okay, anyway, so... That's a good point, so Todd, he, okay. <laughs> 
So he, he tested that. And then he thought, well, maybe my allergy has gone completely. So then he tested it without charging and he had a terrible allergic reaction. Um, and then he said, maybe it was just a one-time effect, but then he repeated it over and over again with the charging, no reactions. So we actually at the biohacking conference last year in Orlando performed an allergy test live on stage uh, in front of over hundred people. They put crab meat in his arm live on stage here. And then he got an instant reaction. It got all red and you know, all, all you can think of, you know, how the skin looked like a very inflamed right away. The same crab meat they put live on stage in the infinity block Afterwards, after six minutes, they took it out, put it in the other arm. There was no allergic reaction. So that was quite profound. And then we've heard from other people similar things. And we always told people, don't try this at home, please. And we're still doing that because this is really too dangerous of a, of a subject to try at home. But some people, you know, with not deadly allergies, they <laughs> obviously try these things. And so there was a guy who could never eat a lemon or even drink a little bit of a lemon juice ever with a huge allergic reaction, posted that in the Telegram group. And same thing, it was charged and he was able to consume the lemon juice with no problems. And then we said, okay, we need to find out more. So there has been a pilot study now that was done in, in Munich in Germany by a naturopathic clinic that has a $45,000 device with which they test allergy and allergy responses and stress responses. And they found that by only three minutes of charging with our travel block, which is in the inside as strong as the infinity block, um, the allergy reduction was always between 65 to 95% in all cases. Wow. And three minutes isn't even what we recommend for that. We, rec we say and we know that four minutes is the minimum for an optimal like leveling out of these waveform patterns. Is that for the quantum block or the infinity block? Infinity block or travel block. Uh, okay. Those have in the inside the, the same strength. And so there's actually room for even improvement. Maybe it'll end up being 75 to 100%. We don't know yet. That was just a pilot study, so please don't try this at home yet. There will be a follow-up study, though. But also what's interesting, that's the last part about it, they tested sugar as well. And with sugar, you can't have an allergic reaction to sugar, but sugar um, leads to a stress response of the body. And that's, that can be quite detrimental as well. It's not an allergy, but it's a different stress response. And that was also reduced by 75%. So... I love chocolate. <laughs> I charge my say. chocolate in the blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I started charging just about everything in there, especially since not being able to get organic. And, and I've noticed a difference. Like, um, usually I will never eat something like green beans if I know that it's not organic because it'll make me itch a little bit. And then after hearing these stories, I was like, well, let me just buy some green beans and try it out. And it's fine. It's completely fine. I really awesome. love being in the Telegram group too, because you just get to read everybody's testimonials that come in on like almost a daily basis. At least a few times a week, somebody will post something really interesting in there. And so it's beautiful that it's just this whole worldwide community of people who are kind of tapping into this completely new level of healing that's possible. You know, we we use the word quantum and think of it as being kind of futuristic, but the future is now you know, and you guys are really paving the way for that. So what is the thing that you guys are most excited about um, in terms of what you're studying and what you're researching? Like what's on the, what's on the horizon of what's being tested right now? So a clinical study in India with autistic kids, with 42 autistic kids was something very heartwarming, to be honest, because that led to significant improvements of all of the measured uh, aspects um, of these autistic kids, whether it was language and speaking ability, attention span, focus, uh, and even also actually parasitic load. Interestingly, I'm just now realizing, ha, huh, we had this in that one study and we, that also came up in this study. Uh, so that was probably the most heartwarming um, recently, but what's really coming right now that we're interested in is is what i just shared with the food allergies 
I'm really, really curious what more we find out and hopefully we can provide some guidance at some point in regards to gluten sensitivity, for example. And we'll have to see actually what we can actually say once we know these things, because there's always an agency with three letters that uh, probably will dictate what we can say and what we cannot say, but I'm sure we'll be able to dance around that uh, in a good mm -hmm. way. The other thing is that I found that out today. We, 10 days ago, we did the first test with two cells. And not, not we did that, but a lab that specialized in that here in the US. And um, they wanted to see if ATP production of the cell actually increases um, by exposure through quantum entanglement. So that's the quantum upgrade now. Um, mm -hmm. And it did actually increase in those two cells. So that was the first experiment. And we were like, wow, that's so cool. Not only does the cell get more energy, right? Because the cell suddenly has this field, but it then also um, adds energy production on its own to it. And mm -hmm. now, so there was now a double blind study that was just run the last few days um, with 96 cells and <laughs> that were charged. And I think in total, it was then almost 200 cells that were in this study. And yeah, that wasn't across the board ATP increase uh, in the first two hours and actually also in the first four hours. And that's wow. quite profound too. That's very new information. That's huge. Yeah. For anyone who's <laughs> listening right now and doesn't know, we all tend to consider ATP to be the energy you know, generator of the cell, right? Well, Dr. Gilbert Ling did these studies and he found that there's actually no more energy in ATP than any other part of the cell. So why is it considered this energy macromolecule? And it's actually because it functions to bring more structured to the intracellular fluid, the intracellular water. And so ATP kind of does what heat does for jello. Like if you put gelatin into water, it's just gonna sit as a sediment. But if you add heat, this would be the ATP in the cell, then it's gonna congeal together. And in your, in your intracellular fluid, uh, which is basically, you know, like seawater, except it's this highly structured seawater, it just increases the strength of the hydrogen bonding. And so you get much more uh, coherent intracellular fluid, which is what in turn gives the energy, gives the cell so much more energy and so much more voltage. So the fact that it's increasing the ATP tells you right there, it's increasing the strength of your bio water crystallinity. What, what did you say, tenfold or something like that? No, no, no. Oh, so the ATP production, that was definitely yeah. not tenfold. That's, that's in the low percentage, I'm thinking. We actually don't know that because I'm still waiting for mm. the responses. I just was sent text messages with mm. graphs and the graphs were positive and then, then said, yes, it was positive across the board in the first two hours and in the first four hours that we measured it. But I can't tell yet like what exact value right. it was. But oh, I'm, I'm so excited to see the numbers on that. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, and I can't wait for you guys to test phase angle too. It'll be really cool to see like testing somebody's phase angle before they use these products and then afterwards. I mean, if it's raising the cellular voltage, then it must be raising the phase angle. So I'm really curious about that. That's like the main measurement that we use to measure somebody's level of hydration. Okay, good. Yeah. So that's, that's actually an interesting input. Yeah. I, I got to look that up and see um, if we can test that. Yes. <laughs> It's a super simple test. Yeah, most clinics have it. I'm sure you guys can access it. You've got how many universities and doctors on board your team now who are doing these third party studies? Well, I mean, those are they're not part of our team. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and we really on our advisory team, that's Ian Mitchell. And he helps us, you know, set some of these up or, you know, in this form with a lab with a cell test, for example, he made the connection. But other than that, it's all independent labs and doctor mm -hmm. offices that we don't have anything to do with. Um, in, actually, in, in some cases, they think um, our products don't work. <laughs> They're happy to test them, but you know, it's not gonna work. But then it ends up actually working every time. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, you're proselytizing people out there to <laughs> the moment they see it, you know, the, like the tests really speak for themselves. And that's what I tell my clients when I'm working with, you know, doing hydration consultations with people. I'm like, look, it's really hard to describe how it works, 
but it's impossible to ignore these tests and these studies that are being done because it, the results really speak for themselves. So I'm going to ask you one more question and then we can open it up for if anybody has one or two final questions. Um, and yeah, I think we can cap it there. So unless there's anything else you want to share. So I want to let people know that um, if you're curious to learn more, you want to read more about it, you want to see the studies, you want to get your hands on one, you want to see the prices, you want to see what these weird things even look like that we're talking about. They're all gold and they're all beautiful, by the way. Um, then you can go to waterislife.shop and just type quantum in the search bar and it'll bring up all of the Leva Quantum devices and upgrades and subscriptions and jewelry and all of the above. I don't know if you can see, but I've got the little capsule oh, on. It looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go to waterslife.shop and you'll find all of the goodies there if you type in quantum. But how can someone kind of navigate what they should start with? Like, for example, if someone hears, oh, well, I can go up to, you know, 900 on the Hawkins scale with um, a subscription and it's cheaper than a Lila block or um, than an infinity block, then why would I choose the infinity block over a subscription and vice versa? So can you kind of break down how people can navigate where to start with these? Yeah. And so in terms of the physical products, what is synchronicity of the heel capsule that you just showed is what I would recommend to try uh, before the blocks, because before the blocks, because the blocks are quite an investment. If you're very tuned in and you already know, I definitely need to block. Of course, that's different. But uh, a lot of people, you know, they need to tap into this first. And then the heel capsule is the way to go in terms of block versus the quantum upgrade. That's a great question. So the quantum upgrade can do certain things that the blocks cannot do. So you can level them up and down on the Hawkins scale like you want it. You can pause it at night. You can have lower levels at night, higher levels during the day. And it's way deeper and much stronger than what you could get out of an infinity block. You can also put your picture in an infinity block and you also get this quantum entanglement effect, but it's always at the same level. And, but the infinity block doesn't have the harmony feature and the buffer that the Hawk, that the quantum upgrade has. Meaning at some point you need to take your picture of the infinity block because you either sweat or you detox too much, or you just feel it's just too much. And with the quantum upgrade, you can be exposed to higher levels of consciousness for longer periods of time uh, without these effects. So that's another benefit. And, you know, then you can do things even for your business, you can have a quantum upgrade and you can try it. So you can, you can try it for free, right? So that's, that doesn't hurt, right? If, if you do that to just tap into that energy, but you could not charge water with the quantum upgrade and you could not, you know, possibly eliminate food allergies um, out of substances, <laughs> because you need literally a physical device where you can put the water in, or if you, I don't know, beans, you put your beans in the block, you need a physical device for that. And, and of you know, course, I mean, copying were... the copying frequencies too. Like if you have a bottle of vitamin C, you can copy that frequency into your water. If you have a block or you can actually create a homeopathic remedy out of just about anything that you put into the block with a glass of water. And that's not something you could do with an upgrade as well. Exactly. Yes. I really think and the upgrade charging your is... silverware. <laughs> right. I've charged pretty much everything I own. <laughs> um, I really think that the I was so excited when you guys released the subscription because it's such an accessible way for people to get access to this. It's I think for the for one subscription it's only thirty five a month and then you can bundle them together and you get like three subscriptions for about sixty dollars a month and that can cover your home, your car, your pets, your phone, your business, yourself. I mean you guys have so many options available. You know what I just realized? Okay, I'm going to have to look at the dates on this, but I'm pretty sure because I started using the, I started using the subscription for the business just about a month ago. And that's right about the same time that I just suddenly got the inspiration 
to launch this whole course, Spirit of Water, that I was not planning to do before that. And it's the first course that I've launched that dives more into like the esoteric, the quantum, the etheric, the spiritual, the scriptural, the ancient indigenous teachings about water and kind of puts those all together with the science and the spirit. And I wasn't planning to do that. And then I just suddenly got this inspiration and launched it in the course of like two weeks. And then right around the exact same time I planned to do that, I also started planning to launch to um, host a retreat in February. Hadn't been planning on that, but I was like, screw it, let me go ahead and do it. I bet I wouldn't be surprised at all if that was like right around the same time I started the business subscription. Well, I'm that's having a little moment. Works. I'm going to have to check that. And yeah, actually, I mean, that's, I've that's, been that's consistently surprised this whole time as I've been doing everything for the course and the shop and the retreat and all of the other aspects of, of, you know, the, the business and the courses and everything. Like I haven't felt stressed a single day. I've basically doubled my workload compared to normal and it hasn't felt like doubling the workload. And I'm just now realizing, <laughs> Oh, that's probably cause I got this subscription. <laughs> that's awesome. But it's also awesome that you're so tuned in to notice these things because you know that's that's so cool and it's also amazing that you're just you're getting these inspirations and then you're you're actually using the energy and you're doing something with it right so you're creating this flow and and that's actually you know the the quantum upgrade really is for businesses business businesses and business owners that want to be more conscious or are conscious already that can do these things and work with these inspirations and then um yeah so we've heard several stories like that so it's it's I'm not sorry. a surprise but it's hard to prove so that i'm glad that you <laughs> that you reflected on that and and mentioned that yeah yeah I, it's hard to prove but the proof is in the pudding all of these stories that keep coming out and you just have to experience it for yourself guys everybody was on you just have to experience it for yourself because it really feels like it just takes the friction out of life. Like it just eases things and just helps there to just be more flow, which is generally what I feel the more hydrated I am anyways, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, I just feel more flow in my life. And then with these um, quantum tools, you know, it's, it's really affecting your bio water and your bio water is the interface between your mind, your body and your spirit. And so it just creates more flow and ease and thank you so much for coming on and chatting with me about it today if you have time can we take one or two questions from anybody who has stuck with us for this long yes of course okay great if anybody wants to ask a question to the expert here welcome julie welcome tam and if there's anything else that you want to share that you feel inspired to share before we hop off well, do we have the link of the Telegram group maybe or of one of the one or both of the Telegram groups to share possibly? That would be something, mm -hmm. you know, if people are interested because they wouldn't be able to search for it because these are private groups. Other than that, I think we covered a lot of ground. <laughs> yeah. And that's when maybe I... also why there aren't questions. <laughs> yeah. Good point. So when I um when I post this to my page I'm going to put a link to where you can find the products. They're all at waterislife.shop. Um, and then I'm also going to put a link to the Telegram group. That's a great idea. So Burmi says, has there been any research into the lymphatic system? Uh, not on the physical level, but the BESA Institute actually tests also the lymphatic system as, uh, as part of the whole body. So they test the long the lung, the, you know, the intestines and the lymphatic system. And they were able to show a, a complete neutralization of all stressors that these people were exposed to in regards to the lymphatic system. Uh, but there hasn't been anything in terms of actual like lab results that, you know, I, and I don't actually know too much about the lymphatic system in order to say what tests you would have to do uh, beyond that, but yeah, there's indication that it certainly also improves the lymphatic system like any other organ, frankly, on a regular mm -hmm. level, and also in terms of cellular voltage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would make perfect sense that it would really affect that. 
Um, I am Chepi Lowe says, how big can your head fit in it? I have a small head and I do put mine in it, but I have a friend who couldn't fit his in there. So it's somewhere around this size. Yeah, so we get that question a lot. It's uh, for some people it's possible, for some it's not. Uh, we're going to have a limited edition of a larger block that probably will um, be out in the beginning of January because people ask for it, and, and it is a size that we don't want to carry on a regular basis. That's why we said, okay, we're going to do it, and whoever wants one gets one, and that's what we're going to do in the beginning of January. So awesome. there you can definitely put your head in there. And possibly the, the people are currently deciding in a poll uh, on the, in the Telegram group which size they want. And then possibly you can even fit your whole upper body in it, you know. <laughs> awesome. That's exciting. I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. I just want to live inside one. Just curl up and sleep inside one. <laughs> well, um, you have the quantum upgrade. That's, that's kind of the thing. Yeah, I that's mean, basically better, exactly actually. what that is. It's like sleeping in a bubble of it. Um, oh, Todd Don. Hi, Todd. He says, um, the Telegram group is on the Leela Q Instagram link. Okay, cool. So if you go to the Leela Q profile, click through, you'll find the Telegram group. Um, Dane says, do you have to wear the necklace all the time? No, uh, it really depends on you. So all of our products are designed that they actually help you remember these states of being. Um, whether it's a higher level on the Hawkins scale, or if it's, you know, um, to activate your inner healer, you know, your self healing powers and all of that. So over time, you'll be able to recreate some of these things way easier on your own. In that sense, it's not like a pharma pill. It's really something that's more like a trainer and a coach a little bit while it is helping you. So, um, our goal, by the way, also is that ultimately no one needs our products anymore. And then we'll have created something new, uh, probably. But that's really the goal. Everyone can do a lot of things with, with his or her own consciousness. And our devices are tools or bridges on that path. But yeah, uh, the, the, the goal is that you don't need to use them all the time. But at the same time, like if you are exposed to EMFs and stressors, if you go to town, you go grocery shopping, you're in a car, those are great places to wear the necklace just because you then don't need to focus your attention on trying to, you know, harmonize these energies with your own energy system. It's just you let the capsule do its work. Awesome. Okay, last question. This is from George. He says, what is the mechanism which draws or resonates the block with quantum energy? Is it a ratio shape power effect, such as in biogeometry of Dr. Kareem's work? No, it has nothing to do with biogeometry, frankly, because biogeometry also doesn't, isn't pure quantum energy. It actually is literally just a shape. Um, and then because of that shape, it actually has a, a frequency surrounding itself. And that's having these effects right because, and it has positive effects uh, no, no doubt i think these are pretty cool tools um but it's it's by no means pure quantum energy like we literally work with pure quantum energy that's how our devices are infused and that's all they are and, and carry except now the products like the heel capsule where specific frequencies are added to that but the blocks that's always just neutral pure quantum energy without any brute force Awesome. Okay, we actually got one final last question that came through. And I think this one is really interesting um, to address. Alma de Cortina says, I have the subscription and I felt very uneasy the first two weeks and almost angry. Now it's all good. I feel great. And I really feel the difference. Why did I feel like that at the beginning? Yeah, so that's, that can be a very personal thing in general. Um, most people feel much more energetic already right from the get-go. And, you know, that's probably the case for 90% of the people, I would guess, more or less, if not more. For some people, especially the ones that are not used to quantum energy or energy work, it can start detox effects, right? So it really starts to bring up stuff. And that detox effect happens not only on the physical level, but also on a energetic level and we have so much stuff whether it's energetic blockages or some things that we ought to resolve now uh, like past trauma maybe maybe it's on our path to now deal with this and 
bring it into the consciousness and then let it go, this energy brings these things up and it, it does most of that in the, and it works with the subconscious to just release those things. But sometimes there are things that we need to be aware of and then things like that can happen. So I'm, I'm assuming here right now you had some detox effects on both of those levels and that can make us feel a little bit uneasy because it's, it's never fun if like an old trauma bubbles up or someone wants to go, that's never fun. And it's also never fun if we're full of toxins in the physical body and then we need to get rid of it. Then the cells start to kind of like do the work and we feel energetically cramped. Then just drink a lot of water and just uh, the good news is like you, you feel it, right? So, and you feel it kicking in and with the quantum upgrade, you can dial it down then also and take it easy for a little bit. But yeah, it's definitely something that can happen, but you'll get used to the energy um, actually the, the more you're around with it. Makes sense. Well, thank you so much for joining today. And just in general, thank you for all of the beautiful good work that you're doing in the world and all the healing that you're spreading and is just rippling out. And I love to see it. So Thanks everyone go on over it. and follow Leela Quantum and Keep your finger on the pulse of everything that Philip and the team over there is doing because it's super top notch. Thanks so much for having me on and thanks also for your great work because that's really, truly amazing. Um, so much knowledge about water. That's, that's very special. Ah, thank you. Awesome. Well, it was so good to see you. Blessings. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you get to rest after all these interviews you've been doing. And thank you so much to everybody who joined. I'll be posting this on my feed. So find it there if you want to revisit any of this amazing information. Bye, guys. Thanks, everyone.